Now, everything we've done up to this point is all about changing values to something that I just made up. But sometimes it depends, right? It depends on certain things. If I had a poison pack I touched, then my health would go down. But if I touched a health pack, it would go up. And so we need to determine how do I know if something depends on something? Well, there's this magical thing in Lua in a lot of programming languages called a conditional. So we're gonna use conditionals to do this kind of health stuff, but doing it on some kind of situation that happens. And so the, the syntax is another global magic keyword that just exists, it's there, called if, and make sure you have a space after it. So it goes if condition then, and you just hit return and it ends. And so if this condition is true, then it'll run this code. If it's not true, it won't run that code. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say if you hit the health pack, so we'll say health pack hit, let's we'll make it global just because we're playing around here. If health pack true, then print hit the health pack, bruh. We'll hit run. And you'll be able to see that we hit the health pack, bro. It ran that if then statement, fantastic. But if we set it to false, it's checking to see if it's true. So it's not, not gonna ever run this print statement. Now, sometimes the lack of scripts is not really helpful. And so a lot of times what you'll do is you'll have something called an else. In this case, it says, well, if it's not true, then do the other thing. So print did not hit health pack sadness run and so now you can see it did not hit the self pack so it gives you a little more confirmation that your if statement ran a lot of common things to do is just do the top and just say well whatever it doesn't run it you know, hit return no one cares but it's kind of hard to debug that so we're going to put if or else just to guarantee that you never miss a true or false thing and you just have a print statement it's always good to have your code talk to you and help it read now you'll notice that this if statement kind of does an implied does it equal true. So we can actually remove this equal true. It's a very special feature of Booleans and other truthy styles. And you can see that it assumes that it's false, which is fine. But if we change it back to true, this if health pack kind of reads in your head if health pack is true. You don't see it equal equal true there, but think of it kind of a shortcut to read like that. Hit health pack, bro. So that's a basic if statement with a basic else statement, and it's always closed by an end statement, whether you have else or if. And th so that way you can see that you can do different pieces of code or branch logic or conditional logic based on some kind of condition. And that condition could be anything you want. It could be a Boolean, a string, whatever else. You could say if health pack is good. So I could say if health pack is bad, Oh knows it's a fake and I got a pair in there. We good, it's fun. And so if the health pack is bad, right? It's a string bad, we hard code that. Then we print, oh no, it's a fake. Otherwise it's good. And so you can compare against strings. It doesn't have to be truthy or a boolean it could just be a string it could be a number it could be whatever you want so those conditions as long as they equal some value or whatever else the most common thing to do is use equal equal some value that's what your condition is really measuring so that's how you do basic if statements